you ready for the farewell ceremony? I am definitely ready. insists that he's throwing a party, we're having a party, no questions asked. Well, listen, who better than someone like Rick Flair to give a send-off to a man who's accomplished what he's accomplished in this industry, like the uh, executive formerly known as Eric Bischoff. I mean, Bischoff lost everything at lockdown in Nashville, Tennessee, from his position here on Impact Wrestling to the actual use of his name in this business. And after 25 years in the industry, it is time to say goodbye to Eric Bischoff. And you kind of sound happy about that, Mike. Kind of? Well, it's kind of sad in itself because you want to see other people fail and be miserable in their life. It kind of shows who you are, but I digress. So you see, the deal is this. If you're Eric Bischoff, like I said earlier, you're on the cusp of 25 years your silver anniversary would be this August. Oh, you know what? Hold on a second. I'm, what? I'm, I'm what? well. I'm well. I'm welling up. Can you pass the tissues? Oh. Tonight we are gathered not to mourn, but to celebrate. And nobody alive knows how to celebrate more than me. Google me. <laughs> That's my wife's favorite line. <laughs> Tonight we celebrate Eric Bischoff. If you have any knowledge of the sport of professional wrestling, you know that he has been a major impact player. No pun intended. If you want, if you want this party, stay here. Good Lord. And people wonder why I don't like wrestling fans. You are the rudest, most out of line people I've ever met. Without further ado, my friend and a man that has impacted TNA wrestling more than anybody, Mr. Eric Bischoff. Please come on, Eric. Great moment. I got the same chair in my den, by the way. Get serious for a second. I'm very serious. I'm very and, sad. I'm and very and sad. you're very sensitive, and I know that about you. And I know you've taken this the demise and the exit of Eric Bischoff. You've taken it really hard, Taz. I can only presume that you probably have prepared your, your own tribute. Well, no, to I Eric at this time. I respect, right ahead. Look, anytime someone wears two different colored denims on worldwide TV. You know that they're in a sad state. So I don't think you should kick people when they're down. I feel for the executive formerly known as Mr. Eric Bischoff. I feel for the guy. I respect guys who, you know, who've been in the business a long time like myself, and you've been doing this for a little while. So I kind of feel for Eric, I really do. And it's good to see his friends, led by Rick Eric, Flair, show that. Please take, please take the chair. I apologize. I sincerely apologize. I apologize, Eric. But I'm much better off when I'm telling the world what you have meant to me, the men in this ring, 
and hundreds of others that have had the honor of working for you. Dixie Carter should be somewhere on her knees thanking you for the day you came to TNA. Even though, even though I don't like Hulk Hogan, you are the reason that Hulk Hogan is in TNA. And more importantly, you're the reason I'm here. And I can't thank you enough. These gentlemen right here all know what you've done for us as an individual. Is there, is there a woman in the audience that wants to go home and sleep with this? Do you mind if I give it to some girl? Anyway, thank you. I hope that you totally, as fans at home of Impact, appreciate what Eric Bischoff has done. The power, the wisdom, the man that was not afraid to cross the line in developing television programming. Thank you, and God bless. Anybody want to say something to Eric? Eric, this is a sad day for all of us, but I personally want to thank you. You've been like a father figure to me. You give me nothing but opportunities. Thank you. Thank you. In all, in all the excitement, I almost forgot. Here, Bobby. Nate, this is on behalf of us to you. Eric, we, we hope you wear that with pride and remember this. And I can honestly say, Eric, I have never ever admitted this to another man before. But you are the wind beneath my wings. It's hard to watch. It's very hard to watch. Oh, now wait a minute. What? Well, I guess it's only appropriate, Taz, that the individual most responsible for Eric's exit be present for the going away party, his son Garrett Bischoff. And he's got that nasty JP with him. Oh, oh, hang, hang, hang on, guys. Please, hang on, hang on, just a minute. Just a second. Just, just, just give me one second here. We just came out here, a couple of the guys, JB and myself, we were in the back. We were talking. JB actually came up with a really good idea. If this really is indeed your last night here on Impact, Dad, we all wanted to contribute, pitch in, get you a little something from us just as a farewell gift. JB, you want to tell him what it is? You see, we all got together. We thought it'd be fun to contribute. And Eric, while that Rolex is nice, we thought we would get something more, well, symbolic of who you are. So while football has the Hall of Fame, while the Dallas Cowboys have the Ring of Honor, Eric, tonight we would like to induct you as the very first person in the TNA Shed of Shame. What the hell is a Shed of Shame? Bring it in! <laughs> oh no! Well, that's nice. It's on wheels and everything. That's a good old fashioned quarter party, folks. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Oh, here we go. 
Oh, all hell's broken loose here in the impact zone. Well, Eric Stearns, they, 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 they know that he's been disrespected. And, oh, look at this now. Garrett's going, just snatched up his dad in a headlock. Yeah, for a headlock. The hell, JP directed traffic now. Garrett Bischoff dragging his father, Eric. Oh, no, no. Don't, don't disrespect him. Come, like come on, it's the shed of shame. He's going to be the first inductee. Oh, my God. Oh, he's home now. <laughs> There's no way for him to get out. It's just Shane locking this bad boy up here. How humiliating on the celebration for the executive formerly known as Eric Bischoff. Oh, oh. Look at JB, he's loving this. Can you blame him? Whoa! Oh my God! I think that was most of Garrett who was able to push that over, by the way. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, you smell that? Oh, yeah, I do. It's, it's disgusting. Oh, look at the ooze off the back. Look at that ooze. Oh. Look at the ooze. Look at the, look at the ooze. The ferment. Oh, no. Oh, my <laughs> God. That's disgusting. <laughs> this is the Well, you know, Eric, he's always been known for, for screwing And this just proves it. Way for this poor man's career to end. Horrible! Oh. 25 years in the wrestling industry, and this is the exit for Eric Bischoff. Forget about a silver anniversary, that's a brown anniversary. Uh, Eric Bischoff, goodbye.